Hello and welcome to the 12 days of winter. Today is December 25th, the first day of what is traditionally called the 12 days of Christmas. And I want to give you a little bit of background, something that you might not actually know about uh, Christmas and about this time of year. Long before the Christian tradition, this time of year has been venerated. Um, and it is because if you carefully watch the sky from the northern hemisphere, you'll notice that uh, from the summer solstice to the uh, winter solstice, the sun moves in a more and more southerly direction as it rises and sets. In other words, if you stand uh, looking south as the sun rises, it's rising closer to the south and it's setting closer to the south and so it's doing this it's coming in like this and on or about the 21st of December that movement stops and the Sun dies well this is what they thought in the ancient world anyway the Sun dies for three days and then is resurrected as the Sun then begins to move back out in a more a northerly direction every day as the days get longer and longer until <clears throat> they reach their longest time at the summer solstice. So the movement of the Sun astrologically or astronomically speaking doesn't actually change uh, but to the naked eye and to the ancient world that three-day period was a day of um, sort of desperate celebration because it was essential that the sun be encouraged to begin its movement and continue through um, the year. Um, so it it brings us to back to the fact that this time of the year is about the cycle and very few of us actually think about the cycle that's actually happening at this time of year. Our ancient forebears, no matter who they were, um, if they had a winter at all, and if they were in the northern hemisphere, then there was some question about whether they were, they were going to have enough food to make it through the winter, especially where there was snow falling, especially where there was bitter cold. Um, you didn't actually know whether the, the spring was coming. And, and if you hadn't put in, away enough food or if you weren't clever enough in gathering food in the winter, you might not actually make it through the winter. Uh, to live to see another spring and summer. So what happens in the world during this cycle is that the world, the crops die, the fields go fallow. Uh, something dies in the winter so that something can be born in the spring. And if you think about it, the New Year's Day celebrations that we uh, are going to be having one of these um, videos on that day as well and I'll remind you then when we get there that what what's what's happening there is the old man of time you know this this metaphor the old man of time dies and there's always someone dressed up like a little baby to to represent the, the beginnings of the new year that's what this whole time is about and it's really useful to us to go back to this instead of the sort of present buying uh, torpor that we find ourselves in to actually recognize what inside you is dying so that something else might be born. What, what is it that you're needing to give up or stop doing or, uh, or lay aside or just simply let die so that something new in your life and your world can come about? So that's something to think about until tomorrow's broadcast. Talk to you then. Bye for now.